My name is Ron Mosby. I'm president of Steinway and Sons for the America, and here we are at West 57th Street, the historic Steinway Hall. Thank you very much, Ms. Mosby, for making the time to meet with me and uh, to give us some insight into Steinway. I'd like to know of your interest in Steinway, when it began, and perhaps a little bit of your background in music as a pianist. My interest in Steinway began when I started playing the piano. My first teacher had a Steinway piano after I'd been taking for about six or eight months. Mm -hmm. I noticed immediately the How difference. I was uh, about six and a half years old. Were you from New York? No, I was from Los Angeles, oh, in the okay. Beverly Hills area. Okay. I wanted to be a concert pianist, and yes. I went to um, Juilliard School and the San Francisco oh. Conservatory of Music, wow. but it wasn't meant to be. So I started working for another piano company. Mm -hmm. uh, in the retail end of their business mm -hmm. and very soon I found out that I really had a love of pianos not just as the musical instruments that I would play mm -hmm. but also as these wonderful objects that would really turn a, a house into a home and mm -hmm. become a family affair. If you imagine yourself you're a pianist, mm -hmm. can you think of anything in your experience with the piano, that is not a happy memory. Not at all. Actually, uh, I can think of many occasions with my family. Uh, everything is centered around the instrument. If you're playing a trumpet or a flute, they're beautiful instruments. You can't quite accompany your mother doing the cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> with the exception of religion, music is probably the most powerful force in the world. It, it does bring individuals together. Most of us speak English around the world, but even when you're speaking a common language, the personal expression requires some time to appreciate. But with music, it's an instant appreciation. So an extraordinary event that I saw on television, the New York Philharmonic went to Pyongyang in North Korea. Okay. Now, North Korea is a country that we are allegedly alienated from. We have cultural differences, economic differences, religious differences, political differences. Mm -hmm. And here was the New York Philharmonic on the stage of one of their concert halls, mm -hmm. and all the North Korean intelligentsia, the politicos, etc. Mm -hmm. And you could feel the sort of iciness and this cold tension. And then once the orchestra started playing, yeah. you could feel it melting away. And then by the end of that concert, both the orchestra and the audience were waving at each other. People feel a little embarrassed when they talk about their first instrument, but really, regardless of what instrument they pick up, it is the start of their journey to universal communication. When you meet other musicians or other people practicing music, it's an immediate camaraderie. Uh, we had a little conversation earlier about people having the idea that Steinway pianos are mainly for concert halls, and they liked few who have the living rooms for a Steinway piano. The number of pianos that we sell to great artists is far smaller than the average everyday hobbyist. The fact that they can play the piano and make beautiful music, mm -hmm. it's a legacy for the family today and tomorrow, mm -hmm. and it's an enduring financial investment. Those mm -hmm. three aspects of the Steinway piano mm -hmm. make it ideally suited to our customer base, which is people mm -hmm. just like you and I. I think one of the major factors in the success of Steinway & Sons is they've never compromised. Time goes on, people get paid more money. Yeah. Uh, you know, it is in, inevitable that the price of a Steinway piano will continue to go up if we build it in the same way yes. that we always have. Mm -hmm. There were many companies that built pianos that were voracious competitors with Steinway & Sons right. at the turn of the last century. Right. And they built a very good piano, not terribly dissimilar to the Steinway piano, mm -hmm. but over the years, Either they built it with less quality materials, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, they ended up building it to a price point, mm -hmm. which means that it didn't have the enduring value mm -hmm. of a piano that doesn't change. Uh, a line of pianos for the more budget conscious person. Mm -hmm. A Steinway piano is obviously a Steinway design after mm -hmm. 156 years, modified incrementally over the years to be better. Mm -hmm. Materials are the best you can find in the world. And you're absolutely right, it is handcrafted. Not everybody can start out with a Steinway. So we came out with the Boston and then also the Essex range. They're all designed by Steinway. It is the finest materials available where it affects tone and touch. You know, I can only imagine, I think 
reflective of the past and also indicative of the future, mm -hmm. is if you look at the piano and the music that has been played on it and been written for it, mm -hmm. it has gone through so many different cultural changes around the world. One of the most promising markets for the piano right now is China. One thing I'm certain of, mm -hmm. there will never be a time when music is not important to a society, whether it's contemporary music, whatever that is, yeah. or whether it's classical music or pop or rock, yeah. the piano is the universal musical instrument. Violin can chill in my orchestra, you need the accompanist. Yeah, whether you like it or not, you do. <laughs> you're going to have that piano. Yeah, and we <laughs> like it that you need that piano. Yeah. <laughs> you know, electronic piano is becoming so, so rampant, real estate becoming more valuable, more pricey. We really don't have even that 10 by 10 room sometimes. Uh, people tend to go for the digital piano for the simple reason that little Johnny or little Mary could put their headphones on and not disturb dad in his study while he's working. How do you convince someone that they truly want an acoustic version and not an electric piano well, and a Steinway? You can electronically augment the piano in a very nice way that doesn't disturb the utility or the financial value of the piano. How would you convince someone that they really need the real experience? To them, it's the same anyway. There's something very human about playing an acoustic instrument. It's, it's an extension of the human body almost. Mm -hmm. Whereas playing something that is plugged into a wall, mm -hmm. while it's not a bad thing, it doesn't have that same human connection, there's a technology that's allowing you to do this. You are physically displacing wood and felt, and it hits the string. This feeling has never been replicated on an electronic instrument. My experience with the acoustic piano is a very personal uh, play-by-ear experience. I can speak my thoughts. I expressed it through my fingers directly yes. to the string.